Long time, no see, I know. Okay, so <laughs> I think it's been a month since I have posted. I know it's been like a month since I've even been able to film. So there's a lot going on. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but the first like two minutes is going to be like life and video updates. And then the rest is going to be pregnancy and baby updates. So let's just jump into this video. As we all know, I think I mentioned it in quite a few videos that I was pre-filming for Halloween and that did not go as planned. I was pre-filming because I knew the whole month of October I was going to be super busy. I made the mistake of basically filming until my memory card was full, dumping it onto my computer, and then just going right back to filming. And I didn't check a lot of my footage. And I will never make that mistake again because I filmed 10 videos and I could only post five, as y'all could see, because by the time I got around to editing them, I was kind of just stockpiling the footage because I know I can just edit here and there throughout the month and just upload whenever I have free time. But, yeah, I opened up some of that footage and it was so bad. I don't know what happened. Some of the footage, I was completely out of the, the frame. I was completely out of focus. The lighting was off. Like there were points where I looked orange. There were points where I looked green. It was just awful. So yeah, and my month, uh, like the whole month of October was so busy that I didn't have any time to refilm at all, at all. I don't even know, oh, oh my god, I don't even know how many things that we went to in the month of October. We had multiple weddings, like multiple weddings, like multiple weddings in a weekend, like some, some weekends, multiple weekends. Um, I had my baby shower, we had football games, volleyball games, soccer games to go to. We try to do that for the nieces and nephews, we really do think that's important. We had that stuff. Um, we had Nathan's high school reunion. That was a two day thing. We were just so swamped and busy. Plus, if you've been here for a while, you know that we are getting a ton of stuff done to our house, which is kind of why I'm in this like weird space right now. This video and the probably the next few videos are going to all be in a different place in the house because we're getting our floor redone. And it's just displacing a lot of furniture. I can't even get to my makeup right now, hence this look. So <laughs> yeah, things have just been crazy. And then on top of all of that, I had some more pregnancy issues. So let's just get into the pregnancy update part of this. If you are new here, hello, um, I'm 37 weeks pregnant. The day I'm filming this, so you're either seeing it that day on Wednesday or the next day Thursday, so I'm like right in that zone, 37 weeks pregnant. I will put up a belly shot and all that. So basically, I went to the hospital again for this pregnancy. The first two were like sickness related, like I just could not stop throwing up to the point where I was getting really dehydrated. This time, at 33 weeks, I woke up at like 4 a.m. with contractions, so that is not great. And I kind of didn't really like know at first like what was going on. I expected this like really like Hollywood movie moment of like, ah, contractions, ah, like painful or like you just had to know what they were, like something. I did not have that at all. They weren't really painful. It was just like, my whole abdomen was just flexing and hardening on its own. And before anybody says anything, people have been asking me in person, and every time I say this, people are like, oh, that's just Braxton Hicks. Like, first of all, how rude. Why do you just have to minimize people's experiences? Just let people live. You're the one who asked me about my pregnancy. Just let me tell you about my pregnancy. Like, you don't, anyway, whatever. <laughs> It was not Braxton Hicks, okay? I know what Braxton Hicks feel like. It was contractions. That is confirmed by the fact that I went to the hospital. I was having full-on contractions. They put the monitors on me. I had multiple people feeling my stomach. I was having contractions, pretty strong contractions, about 10 minutes apart for like six hours. Now, I did not go into preterm labor because labor is defined by 
the cervix changing. So luckily for me, I'm honestly really glad about that because luckily for me, my cervix didn't change a bit did not change, nothing happened, like my water didn't break, my cervix did not change, it did not thin out, it did not move, it did not budge, it didn't dilate, literally nothing happened with that. I was just having contractions, like, super weird. Don't know why it happened. Nobody really knows why it happened. The only thing that they think was that I was just pushing myself too hard, being way too busy. So <laughs> I was basically like not put on bed rest, but just they told me to just like, you got to like just take it easy and just rest as much as possible. So like when I do have a downtime, like down moment, don't feel the need to like do this and this and this and like catch up on like washing the dishes like if you have a second to yourself just take a second to yourself drink some water and relax like you don't need to be pushing yourself that hard just to stay on your feet all day and just do stuff do the important things and leave everything else to everyone else so that's what I've been doing nothing else has happened since then um, been really great body wise I feel like shit okay so <laughs> The shitty part was that right after that we had a huge weather change and it threw my sinuses for a loop for sure. I had major congestion in my face, like you could literally feel it, like my face was literally swollen and from the post nasal drip at night I lost my voice completely for like three days. So when I posted this picture on Instagram, on my Instagram stories, I completely did not have a voice. So I'm like, okay, now I'm put on like this rest and relax mode, like just take it easy mode. So I'm like, great, no one's gonna be expecting me to do anything. I can just film. I can just play with makeup and film it. I have plenty of things I wanna film. I have notes and notes and notes and notes like into January, film wise, like footage wise, idea wise. I'm like, I need to film. Lost my voice completely. So annoying for like three days. Then my uh, voice came back and it was on a Friday and I was super busy. Like I was going to have to do stuff that day, even if I had a voice or not. Plus I got my flu shot that day and it didn't like make me actually sick or have a fever or anything. But I think anytime you get like a flu shot, you just kind of feel poopy. And I had been running around that whole day. So yeah, we're still trying to get stuff for like the nursery and all of that, we still have stuff coming in the mail. Like, I'm three weeks away from giving birth and we're still sleeping in the room that will be the nursery. So that will all change this weekend actually. So I'm hoping I post this on a Wednesday and by Sunday we will be in our master bedroom and the nursery will be completely empty with like the carpet ripped out ready for new floor to be put in. Um, and it is like, the smallest room in the house and it's perfectly like square so it will be the easiest thing to like just paint it and put the floor down and move on with life move everything in like the crib and all of that so that will actually go fast once we get everything else like moved into the master bedroom and blah 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 it's kind of like this waiting game of like well ah! anyway so Yes, and you will get sneak peeks. I do also like plan on doing dedicated videos of like before and after because we're changing this house so much. Like each room, I kind of want to do like a before and after, how we decorate, how we organize videos like that. Trust me, I have all the videos ideas. I have all the video ideas. I just need the time and energy. That is like the part I'm having a problem with. So anyway, body wise for my pregnancy, the only other like huge problems I've been having was that I was also having a ton of bone pain. So along with taking my prenatal vitamins and all the other vitamins I was taking before I got pregnant, I was taking an iron, a magnesium, and a B complex. They also have uh, told me to start taking an extra dose of vitamin D. So my prenatal vitamins have 100% of my daily vitamin D. Plus I eat pretty healthy, but because I was having so much bone pain, like all in my legs and it was like coming into my hands and stuff, 
to the point where like I was having bone pain and stiffness to the point where I couldn't ball my hands up. I could bend my fingers maybe like this much and that was it because it was just so painful and my fingers and my joints were so swollen. Of course, I have like the weirdest pregnancy symptoms. It is like a pregnancy related thing, but like why that? Like why <laughs> why can't I just be like nauseous again or something? Like of course, I, I can't move my hands. Anyway, so that only lasted like a week or two before I was like tired of it enough to like go to the doctor. That's another problem with me is like I hate going to the doctor. So like being pregnant is just not good for somebody who's like that. So anyway, uh, I upped my dose, like just another basically dose of like vitamin D and it's been helping a lot. I still have a little bit of pain, but it's like nothing bad. They're a little stiff in the morning, but I honestly just... My feet and my legs, I just, whatever. It's my hands that are the most annoying, but I just run my hands under some warm water and just kind of slowly start doing this. And they loosen up. And for the rest of the day, it's like, oh, one out of 10 pain. Like, it's really not that bad. So, whatever. As the baby has gotten bigger, it has been pulling on my back a little bit more. I've been doing my stretches and my exercises. And honestly, my favorite thing ever is to just lay on a heating pad. So anytime that I'm laying down or I have a free moment to just like lay in bed or lay on the couch or anywhere, I'm laying on my heating pad, just trying to get my muscles to relax. It kind of just feels like they're almost like being overworked to the point where they like spasm or I get these like painful like twinges in my back. So I just like to lay on my heating pad and keep everything really relaxed. Also a weird thing that's happening to me is that my ankle is like swelling. This just came up in like the last week. It's swollen all the time and it hurts all the time. It's just on this one ankle and I think, well this is my bad ankle so uh, it, if anything's going to happen to one of my feet, it'll be this one because this is my bad ankle anyway. And it definitely gets worse if I walk around a lot or wear shoes that like press on the swollen part, but it's just always swollen. But it's just this one ankle in this one spot. It's like a ball and it's so inconvenient because like it swells and it almost presses on like that nerve and like the arch of my foot and it hurts so bad. And it's like so sensitive to the point where like just laying an ice pack on it like the pressure of that hurts it it's so weird um but i just again like anytime i'm laying down heat with the heating pad on my back i'm laying down with an ice pack on my foot and it's kind of keeping it at bay again i'm sure it's just like a pregnancy like edema swelling situation like both of my feet are a little bit swollen and then this is my bad ankle so i'm sure that that has something to do with it i hurt this leg really bad my senior year of high school from like the knee down and i actually lost like some mobility in my foot in my ankle so i'm sure that there's just something happening down there that the swelling is putting something out of place and then that thing's getting swollen and i'm sure it'll just go away once i'm not pregnant and swelling anymore but it is annoying and very weird <laughs> what else is there to think about or like tell y'all about i can't wait for the nursery to be done because i think it's going to be so freaking cute decoration wise we're doing like um an animal theme and it's going to be a gray white and yellow color scheme and i'm very excited for that once everything is actually completed i will be doing videos on those rooms it's just like the timing is so weird we picked like a really weird time to buy a house that's a fixer-upper so <laughs> it just is what it is i wanted to do way more pregnancy related videos like morning routines nighttime routines blah 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 routines just more but it seems so weird because like you'll see like 10 couches in the background or something or just like a room full of boxes or like a random bed with like a couch and like my makeup like it's our house is just a little bit too much of like a disarray to do videos like that right now so yes yeah, so hopefully also by sunday i will have access to my makeup because that's when my desk is actually getting to the house is sunday so yeah I'll be able to like fully organize all of my makeup into that desk and I will probably film that and I will also 
be able to start filming makeup videos again because I will actually be able to get to my makeup. Right now, the thing that my makeup is in and like my desk and all of it, my chair, it's like shoved into a corner and there's a bed and extra chairs and just shit all in that room because we kind of had to move stuff out to put the floor down, blah, 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 whatever. So any freaking way. Once the house is more settled, trust me, the videos aren't gonna be this like bad <laughs> and this like awkward or like badly spaced. Once like basically by Sunday, I feel like everything is just gonna get so much easier. I'm gonna have a way better place. Like an, I'm gonna actually have access to my makeup. I'll have a place to sit down and film every every single day if I want to. Like it's gonna be way easier and the videos should come back semi-regularly at least. I mean, I know I'm gonna have a newborn, but I am just gonna be a stay-at-home mom, so I'm sure I'll be able to find time during the day and energy during the day to film something for you guys. I have a hospital bag video coming and then, <laughs> I don't know. I have so many ideas for makeup videos and stuff, so as soon as I have access to my makeup again, I'm going to be filming makeup videos like freaking crazy. I did not forget about my Zodiac videos. Those are some of the videos. Two of the videos that I had pre-filmed for October were Zodiac videos. Can't post those either. Those are both so awful. Those are probably my worst ones. Like 90% of the footage was out of focus. I literally, or not out of focus, I was out of frame. What was I doing? I have no idea. Anyway, and I want to thank everybody who subscribed and was still commenting and stuff even though I was gone for such a long time. Thank you so much. We're like over 400 subscribers now I think, which is insane. Thank you so much. I think that is so freaking cool. So, I have blabbed for way too long. This video is going to just be a pain to edit, I'm sure. So, I don't think I have anything else to say other than anything you want to know should be in the description bar below and leave me anything you want to say in the comments, any videos you want to see, anything like that, let me know. And wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just have a good one. Bye!